So the necessities of physical things in church, <clears throat> placing too much value on these things, you know, the first impressions, right? Yeah. What uh, What do you do when you first go into a room? We use that as an example. Absolutely. You turn the lights you on. Turn the lights on to see yeah. what's going on. Mm -hmm. So when you walk into a church, right, What do you expect certain things when you walk into a church? Let's say you walked into yeah. a church for the first time. Yeah, yeah. I expect, you know. like, I my idea at least like on a simplistic level just on maybe on the most simple level i would expect some type of seats <laughs> like if i walk and i know there's certain places overseas where they just don't they right. just don't like they don't have seats in the building at all because or you know in the in the worship area because they believe that you should be standing up or on mm -hmm. your knees in prayer for worship you don't need to be comfortable sitting down i understand that yeah but we live in america <laughs> yeah. so i'm used to seeing seats and chairs and stuff like that everywhere i go so if i walk in a church building and i don't see seats the first thing i'm thinking is all right is this the right area for worship hmm. why do i say that is because i'm used to having some level of comfort within the worship setting hmm. does that make sense yeah yeah i'm used to having some type of level of comfort in the in the worship set, service and i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing hmm. you know what i mean yeah and that's just being real, just being real as an American and understanding that we do some things in America that are more focused on self rather than focused on God. Yeah, I remember going into a church where <clears throat> they didn't have anything, you know, in, just in, nothing in the mission field just the, and just they yeah. had the bare essentials. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the sound system was one broken speaker, a busted up mixer, you know, it Man. was loud. The mic was dented up. It didn't matter though, right? You know that puts things into perspective. Mm. You know you don't need, any, you know it's just. What country was this in the DR? The Dominican Republic. Yeah, I yeah. figured. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, DR man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that 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 was crazy. What was your first thought when you saw that? I was just like, that's what's up. You know, right. I, right. I I was down for that because you, you kind of knew what to expect. Well, kind of, but you know, <laughs> I think that um, I recognize my own whack. American evangelicalness, yeah, that I have in me. That when I go into a church and I have these expectations, you know, I, I try always try to remember what's most important, mm. you know, um, and what's most important. What is the church is God's people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So the church is not lights. The church is not an uh, an amazing sound system. It's not all these extra things, lyrics on the screens, and all that. You know, the church is God's people. Mm. You know, and so there are churches right now throughout the world that are don't have any musicians, don't have any, you know, uh, instruments, but they use their voices. Right. And that's the church of God singing to their God. Absolutely. You know, so that's all you really need. You know, you know? it kind of as I'm sitting here listening to you, I'm thinking about people that go camping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm telling you, there's a real connection here. I promise I'm not just random. <laughs> when people when people go camping. There's this like 21st century thing where we got to have we got to have the outlet plugs with us. We got to have mm -hmm. like everything with us from home. So it's almost like you're not camping out anymore. Yeah. But then there's the group of people that are like, no, we're roughing it. We're doing straight outdoors type stuff. We don't need anything. <laughs> we can build fires. We're, we're going to go catch fish. Right. Um, you know, what I mean, like it ain't going to be nothing. That we that we're bringing from home, you know what I mean? We're we're not even gonna bring toilet paper. We're just gonna have oh hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know we're about that. We're just gonna find leaves, bro. <laughs> bro, come on, man. I'm telling you, so you have two extremes there. Ones that are like, I'm just gonna bring a camper with the you know the RV with everything in it. <laughs> then you have the other extreme is like, nah, we're not even gonna bring clothes. We're just gonna make clothes when we get there. That's great. We're gonna skin an animal and and put clothes on. <laughs> I think there's a healthy balance in between there. Ain't, ain't, yeah. I'm not an outdoorsy person, but I will say that. Me neither. Yeah, yeah, like that, yeah. That's why I'm I'm bringing some stuff with me. Yeah. But I think it, if you go camping, it's because you want to be almost. I don't want to sound like. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to sound too new and modern and hippie. But you want to become one with nature, almost like you want to experience mm. the outdoors. You want to, if you're going outdoors, you want to experience it. 
right and so i say all that to say that when you go to church and you worship god you want to get to just know him yeah and you don't want any of that extra stuff yeah you don't need any of that extra stuff to get to know god and it's tough because the extra stuff isn't bad it's not you know, it's but when can it, it become a distraction? It, it, I think it has. Right. I think the American church has made it that way. Mm. And, and the problem with the American church is it becomes the the, uh, the trendsetter. Right. 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 So, you know, what I'm saying we send missionaries out and they begin to give this gospel, you know, the prosperity gospel and all these other gospels and it becomes the thing to do. Mm. You the know, standard. Almost. Let's see how the American church does it and kind of copy that. You know, and so if we elevate lights and and all this other stuff and make it, you know, that's what that's what's happened with worship. Mm. You know, what I'm saying like it's, you know, worship has become a genre. Mm. You know, it's become a, a an industry. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying, and, and oh, now yeah. now we have superstars. Mm -hmm. You know, the icons in the worship. You know. Yeah, the worship genre. stars, man. That's crazy. That's crazy, right? So Dang. like. What 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 it was supposed to not be it ends up being right. Worship is supposed to be centered on your focus on who God is and His greatness, and it ends up being where you know nowadays we got worship stars, man. Yeah, man. Man, it's crazy. Ab says I expect sound doctrine and true worship and spirit and truth. Mm. So you can't just have worship, true worship and spirit, and then some churches get it in truth. I know we had that conversation before. <laughs> right, right. They can't be separated. And we got to be careful. Right? right? We, yeah. They can't be separated. No, no, not at all. Spirit and truth. Yeah. I, I, well, I think we have to be careful, too, because I'm not going in on churches that have stages and lights. Mm. That's not the issue. No, 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 you know no, 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 I, no. I want to make that clear. I, I know you're not saying that either, but I think that there is a there's, there's almost like this obsession. Mm hmm. This is the way it has to be. It's like you don't need any of that, you mm -hmm. know. So if you put it in the you don't need any of that category, then you're good. Right. Then those things just become means and just things we have rather than the very things that, you know, we it's almost like it's a necessity to worship. You don't need any of that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like we had hiccups at our church. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like. It brings us back to reality. Like, we don't need all this stuff. Mm. You know, it's... it's so you're saying that there can be good motives for wanting all this extra stuff? I think so. And I think uh, more often, people people's motives are off. Mm. More often, I mm. would say. 